So this question says, which expression is equivalent to sine 50 degrees? So anytime I see sine, cosine, or tangent on this test, I am immediately thinking about SOHCAHTOA. Now, hopefully you remember what SOHCAHTOA is. It is related to a right triangle and how the sine, cosine, and basically the ratios formed in that right triangle to create or to give you the sine, cosine, and tangent of a specific angle. So if I'm looking at sine of 50, that means one of my angles must have been 50 degrees. If I have a right triangle, that means my other angle must be 40 degrees, right? Because all three angles, 50 plus 40 plus 90, have to add up to 180 degrees. So what is the sine of 50? So if I label this side here as side A, side B, and side C, I can say with respect to the 50 degree angle, side A is the opposite side, right? Side A is opposite of 50 degrees. With respect to the 50 degree angle, side B is the adjacent side, and side C is the hypotenuse, or HYP. Now, the other angle here, 40 degrees, right? So with respect to 40 degrees, B is opposite, right? B is opposite of 40 degrees. And A would be adjacent, right? A is right next to it. And then C, of course, is going to remain the hypotenuse. Okay, so we know that sine 50 is therefore equal to the opposite, right, O over hypotenuse, that's from SOHCAHTOA. So for 50 degree angle, the opposite is A over the hypotenuse is C. So sine of 50 equals A over C. Um, how about answer choice A? How about the cos of 50? Well, the cosine of 50 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So again, that'd be B over C. So that's not equivalent to A over C, right? Like that is not equivalent. Therefore, choice A is gone. Choice B is cosine of 40. Well, that takes us down here. So with respect to the 40 degree angle, the cosine is the adjacent, right? Adjacent. Adjacent in the 40 degree angle is A. And the hypotenuse is C. A over C is equal to A over C. Those are the same thing, which means sine 50 is equal to cos 40, which makes choice B the correct answer.